Hey, Tony here. I got some stuff that I wanted to show you guys, uh, what I learned with my 3D printer over the first, uh, I've had it a month and a half or so now. Um, I had one issue with my first print. Um, you didn't really get to see the end of it in my last video, but uh, you did see the beginning. I had parts curling up. My thin uh, parts were curling up and peeling off of the heat bed. And uh, at first I thought it was a cooling issue. I thought the plastic was cooling too fast. I thought that maybe I turned the printer speed up too fast. But uh, what I found out was that you could use hairspray. This is the kind that I have. And uh, it's suave, extreme hold. Uh, I know that some, uh, from my reading online, doesn't work as well as others. Uh, I can recommend this. It works really well for me. Um, you want to get the maximum hold you can. This was a cheap bottle, um, so I thought it was a really good deal. And you want to get unscented as well. Now that doesn't mean that it doesn't smell. It still smells, but uh, there's no added smell. Uh, now what happened with my initial print? Well. I think the parts that curled up uh, got in the way of the carriage and the carriage hit them and got stuck there and uh, kind of threw off its calibration so you can see this is supposed to just be a dome and I ended up with an offset this way and then a little bit later on an offset this way so I got this kind of weird piece it's not really very useful um, there's also this booger here, I'm not sure exactly what caused that, but definitely not a good first print. Um, so the hairspray pretty much solved that issue. Um, another issue that I was having was filament would stop being pushed through my extruder. And so the printer would just be printing in air as it moved up layer by layer and not actually squeezing out any plastic. And uh, what I found when I pulled the filament out were these little notches. I hope you can see them. Um, and basically my hobbed bolt, which is what that big gear is turning on your carriage, on the Robo 3D anyways, um, was actually eating through the filament instead of pushing it through the extruder. Um, so I took it out, I noticed there was all kinds of uh, plastic and whatnot in it, I cleaned it out. I was still having the same problem, so I set out to fix it. Um, I ordered a new hog bolt. Um, I'll show you them side by side. The top one is the, the new one I got, and the bottom one is the stock Robo 3D one. The new one has kind of a deeper groove and finer teeth. I was hoping that that would uh, grip a little better. And I believe it does. Um, I also added oil to my filament. Uh, I just used a paper towel stuffed in the, uh, in the top where the filament comes down into the printer. And I put a little bit of olive oil on that, extra virgin olive oil. Um, I've heard canola oil is supposed to be a little better, or I've read it rather, online. But uh, I used that to print a new oiler and then replace that, uh, that wadded up paper towel with a printed oiler with a sponge in it. Um, I have some video of that uh, that I'll show you. Another upgrade that I did um, to try to prevent that filament getting eaten up there was I improved the cooling. So I replaced the stock uh, little teeny tiny fan and shroud with one that I found on Thingiverse. Um, I'll link it down in the comments. but. Uh, I upgraded the fan, I got this 40 millimeter fan. I got this nice shroud that snaps on over everything. It goes around the rods, it goes around the, uh, the gears up there. And it has the cool Ram Air logo on it. But uh, I feel like that provides a lot better cooling. I also added some LEDs to the bottom of it so that I wouldn't have to stand there with a flashlight and uh, try to see what's going on. Uh, the LEDs will also be in the video. Um, I didn't even get very expensive ones and they're plenty bright. Um, got them right off of uh, Amazon.com. So that was a pretty cool upgrade. Now I decided to go with a different style of spool holder after I failed printing 
uh, that original one that I was trying, I found this one on Thingiverse. It's actually two pieces instead of three. And they have the Robo 3D logo on them, which I think is cool. And they're a little bit more easily removable. I just like this design a lot better. And I was able to get them successfully printed. Um, they're real solid. I uh, haven't really cleaned them up yet, so excuse any uh, hangy edges that you see. But uh, I like that top mounted spool holder idea. These go right in that filament slot and uh, you hang your spool on them. Just because uh, pulling the filament up off the spool and then down into the printer just isn't, uh, I don't think it's the best way to go about things. So I definitely recommend these, even though I haven't started printing. I just printed these last night. I haven't started printing with them, rather. Um, so those are definitely a cool idea. So uh, excuse all the messiness. Uh, I hear that's a sign of genius, but uh, I realized that the video didn't have the, the filament oiler in it. So I thought that I would uh, do a quick video here and just show you what it looks like, where I have it placed. I still haven't installed those, uh, those other spool holders. I got the stock one going on here with my cool glow-in-the-dark yellow filament. Um, here's the actual plug that I'm so proud of. I just got those LEDs and my fan wired in um, in parallel and the 12 volts that's coming off the 3D printer power supply is definitely sufficient to drive that larger fan and those uh, LEDs. I also didn't show you the olive oil that I have. It's a uh, Pompeian extra virgin olive oil robust flavor. Um, that probably doesn't matter all that much. I'd actually recommend canola oil. That's what I hear. Um, that's just what I had laying around. So there's my little, my, my poor electronics wiring work, but good design. I switched my software uh, because I was playing with Matter Control and I was reading that not too many people on the Robo 3D forums were using Matter Control, so I switched to Repetier Host and uh, I'm using Slicer, S-L-I-C-3-R, uh, instead of Cura in that and uh, it's been working good for me so I'm not going to fix what ain't broke. Um, so I think that's everything I got going on. Hairspray, cooling, hot bolt, filament holder, and software. So I'm doing things completely different than I did at first. Um, and I feel like it's working out a lot better now. Uh, if you guys have questions, I could try to answer them. I'm learning just like you. But feel free to ask questions, uh, comments, or if you think I'm doing something wrong, tell me because I am open to suggestions. Bye now.